Hey everybody, welcome to the N Channel video blog. And today what I want to do is to convert electrolytic capacitors into non-polarized caps. So let's get right into it. Why would we want to make non-polarized caps? Well, it's when you're going to be applying both positive and negative voltages to both terminals. So it's a really huge advantage when you're working with AC electricity. And that's exactly what the circuit's intended for, power factor correction. It's a huge ordeal and it's going to make sure that you save energy and use it more wisely and just overall efficiency. So let's break it down how the circuit actually works. Now to actually build the circuit, there's nothing to it. All you need is two electrolytic capacitors. And you connect the negative terminal to the negative terminal or the positive to the positive. And then you just consider this one giant capacitor. And these are your terminals right here. So both of these terminals can receive positive or negative voltages. So it's extremely straightforward. But now if you want the circuit to be a lot more enduring, you can add a voltage reference, and what you're going to be doing is just throwing a massive resistor in parallel to the actual cap. And what that's going to do is make sure that your voltages are evenly distributed between the two capacitors. And all I'm doing in my circuit is adding a 1 mega ohm resistor to do that. Now there is a consequence to this design. You're going to lose half the capacitance rating for your capacitors. Now my capacitive rating here is 100 microfarads and the maximum voltage that can be applied to a single electrolytic capacitor is 100 volts. Now because I'm applying the circuit right to 120 volts on the mains, that means I have to take in the absolute peak that I'm going to be receiving on it. And it won't be 120, it's going to be times square root of 2. And in the case, I'm going to have 170 volts at peak being applied to the circuit. So that means I'm going to have to have two of these in my circuit configuration able to actually handle that huge spike. Now when we simplify these circuits, this is what we have. We have two non-polarized electrolytic capacitors in series. And they have a voltage rating of 100 volts each. And remember that we actually deduce the total capacitance we have, which is now going to be 50 microfarads. And because these are in series, that means we're going to have this circuit at the end, which is a voltage rating of 200 volts but a capacitive ring of 25 microfarads. I just quickly want to measure the capacitance. So I'm considering this right here, one capacitor. So if we take a quick measurement, you can see it's 55.2, so extremely close to the 50. And if we look at the other, 56.8. And these are the exact opposite. So that's negative to negative, and that's positive to positive to illustrate that this will work. And in total, our total capacitance is 27.8. Now before I plug the circuit in, I just want to remind safety first, wear your safety goggles and all that fun stuff when you're working with this at home, and that you have to have a load added onto the circuit. Because capacitors act like a short in an AC circuit, you have to take that into account. So what I have here is a resistor that's going to be restricting the total current flow to the circuit. So let's plug it in and actually see if it holds up. So as you can see, we're applying 120 volts to these electrolytic capacitors and they're holding up. And that's how simple it is to make a non-polarized electrolytic capacitor. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Enjoy your week.